everyone, it's Amber, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. This is officially my first Christmas in July video for 2022. I cannot wait to share this lineup of ideas and projects with you. I'm gonna be doing tutorials, sharing all kinds of fun stuff for my Christmas in July series. So we're gonna kick it off today with a simple, easy, flip book or album, I don't know what I'm quite calling it yet, but it's got tons of pockets and anybody can make this. So even if you don't really want to get into the Christmas stuff yet or you don't celebrate Christmas or something, you can take this idea and use any paper collection you want. So before I get into the paper that I used and how to make this, let me show you what it is that we're making today. So this is super cute. I used seam binding from my favorite Etsy shop, My Scrap Cabin. I'll have it linked below. So this is the cute little flip album that we're gonna make. It's so easy and you don't even need a lot of tools or anything. I use just the paper collection and then some seam binding, no outside stuff. So this is so much fun. I'm not gonna show you all the little goodies cause we'll get into that, but pretty much you just design this all cute with the stickers and you put tons of journaling cards from the collection. There's a pocket here, here and here. Then you flip it here. You've got two side loading pockets with tons of goodies in there. And then you flip it even again. And there's another spread with a pocket here, here. And of course, a top loading pocket here. And I just decorated it all up with the stickers, like I said, and the cut aparts, and it is so easy. You can make a ton of these with one paper collection. So let's jump right into it and get started. So we are starting off super simple and I'm just taking this paper collection that I had in my stash and it is called A Cozy Christmas and it's by Echo Park. This one is older, a couple years old I believe. I will find it and link it below for you. So this is going to be so fun. We're just going to make this fun, cute little flippy pocket album or something. I don't know what I'm calling it yet. I love these collection kits. They're my absolute favorite because they have double sided paper and stickers. And they also come with like a cut apart sheet. I'm just going to quickly show you the sheets that come in this one. I absolutely love this page because they're three by four cut aparts and they all are perfect for like the front focal point of a card or an album. The first thing I want to do is pick three sheets that are going to be the base of my album. So I've chosen these three. Here's the front. There's the back. So first I want to choose the one that's going to be my cover. And I think I want the pretty poinsettia to be my cover. And I'll choose this page to be the back cover. So you'll see what that means in just a second. But you're going to cut both of these the exact same way. So first I'm going to just take off this branding strip to make it a true 12 inches. Turn it so at the top is at the top, bottom is at the bottom, and you're going to cut this down to 10 inches. So you, this is your scrap, you need to save it. So do the exact same thing for your second sheet. So now you have your two sheets that measure 10 by 12. And we're just gonna work with the first one first. I'm not gonna use my scoreboard. I'm just gonna show you how to fold this. So first off, you just fold it in half this way. And grab your bone folder to help you out here. Then you're gonna open it up and fold it in half this way. So now you're going to make a cut, but before you make a cut, just make sure that this panel up here is the right side up because this is going to end up being your cover right here, this side of that panel. So now all you do is you take your scissors, so easy, 
and you go from the very corner of this bottom left side. Bottom left side, you're going to take your scissors and from the corner, you're going to cut it to meet that middle right there. So then it's going to look like this and then you're going to have this little part over here. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to follow this fold line and just cut the whole entire panel off. Okay, so now you have two pieces like this. And this is so easy. All you're gonna do now is this is gonna flip up so you can go ahead and flip that there. We're gonna glue it in a minute. So then you have this piece left and all you're gonna do is just turn it this way so that way that pointy piece is pointing to the right and then you're gonna turn it over like this. So then you're gonna fold that like this and this is going to go right here. So what I like to do before I glue this down is just take a little sliver off this side because I don't want it to obstruct that fold. I want it to lay nice and flat. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny sliver off that side. So before I glue this down, I want to make a little notch cut right here with my circle punch. So I'm just gonna go a third of the way down and cut right there because this is going to make a top loading pocket this is gonna make a pocket and this is gonna make a pocket. So it's gonna be like a triple pocket situation. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this piece glued down. So we're just gonna turn it over. So with wet glue, I'm just gonna glue all three sides. So that side, the bottom, and then the side where the fold is. Then you just wanna line this up pretty evenly with this corner here. That wet glue will give you time to make it straight. So now we've got our first pocket. So then all we need to do is glue this down and glue this one down. So I'm just gonna flip this one down and all I'm gonna do is add glue to this edge. A very thin bead. Okay, so that one, we're just gonna let that one dry. And then all we need to do for this one is glue the bottom. All right, so now we have made a cute little folder with multiple pockets. You can fit goodies in, ephemera, paper samples. So I'm just gonna stick that one aside now that we're all done with that one. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this page. Okay, so now we've got both of our little folders done. Here's this one. And this one. So I want to make this into a cute little flip album and we're going to be connecting these. So let me put these aside really quick and you're going to take that third sheet that you pulled. You're just going to take your paper and cut it down to six inches. So then you're going to take the six inches and turn it this way and cut it down to five inches. So make sure you save all your scraps. You can cut them up for tags and little photo mats and stuff like that. So this is going to become your hinge that hinges these two pieces together. What it's going to do is it's going to be against those two prints like this. So I think I want it on the plaid side. So I'm just going to fold it in half just like this to where the side I want showing is on the inside. And this is going to act as a hinge, but it's also going to make a pocket on that back side. So I do want to do my little notch pull here and here. So the way we're going to do this is here's our two little folders. You're going to keep this one right side up and you're going to turn this one upside down. So the two folded edges are facing each other. So then you're going to take your hinge and you're going to fold it in half like this and you're only going to deal with this side first. So see, it opens like this. So we're only going to deal with this side first. And what we're going to do 
is just add glue. So I added glue to the top edge, the bottom edge, and then I'm going to add it to this folded edge too. So now you're just going to take it, flip it like this, and glue it down so these meet up perfectly. Those two folded edges meet up perfectly. So then just press that down, make sure it's nice and glued. All right, so now we have our little hinge on there. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Just glue the top, the side, and the bottom. Okay, so now we have our little books hinged together and it makes one complete album. Okay, so let me just show you how it looks so far. Here's our cover and here's our first little set of pockets. There, 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 and there. And here's our hinge in the middle that makes them hook together and there's two pockets there. Then you turn it and here's our second little folder with the three pockets and then there's our back cover. So you can totally just leave it like this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little spine piece. So pull out those two strips that I had you save from the beginning. These are two inches by 12 inches. I think the green looks good. So I'm just gonna cut this down to six inches. You're just gonna kind of lightly fold it in half. Do not use your bone folder. Um, don't really crease it a whole lot but you want to get that folded in half. Just gently kind of push with your finger. You want it kind of rounded. I want to add some seam binding. And so I've got those colors of seam binding right here. Red and green for sure. So I'm just going to snip a little bit off of here. So you're just going to take your strips and bind the center and just kind of hold your finger there. Hold your finger on the center and then make sure your cover's right and just do like a little tiny one inch strip of glue right here. Because then you're going to take the center of that seam binding that you have. So take the center and just lay it down. And then right where that first layer is, just take another little one inch strip of glue right there and lay the other color over it. That's just to kind of hold it before we put our spine piece on there. So then you're going to turn it over and do the same thing over here. Just do a little strip of glue to hold it in place. So now you're ready to put your spine piece on. So for the spine piece, I'm just going to use my tape runner. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to get the very edge of all four of the sides. Then I'm gonna fill in just a little here. I'm avoiding that like middle fold part. I'm avoiding that. I'm not gonna add glue there because you kind of want that free of glue. So I'm just kind of holding that seam binding out of my way. And then you're gonna take this line it up where the fold is to the spine of your book make sure the top and bottom are lined up and just close it up and that becomes kind of like a soft spine book so you want to get your bone folder out and make sure all of the glue gets into the fibers of the paper don't do anything here keep it kind of rounded but then turn it around and get the other side especially where that seam binding is just make sure all that glue is really pressed down. All right, so here is what we have so far. So now the seam binding isn't going anywhere and it just acts as like a little closure for your book. But first, before we close it up, I wanna go ahead and decorate this and fill the pockets with some of the fun goodies from the collection. So let me just set this aside and we'll get our paper out.
Okay, so I completed the album. It turned out so cute. I absolutely loved making this. It was really satisfying to work on and it came together so easy. So again, we just have our spine piece here and I closed it with some seam binding. So I just have my simple cover here that I decorated with the cut apart and the stickers and some scraps of paper. And then when we open it, we, so I put tons of goodies in the pockets, some little photo mats that I made, and then also some journal cards that came from the cut apart sheet. So those are fun to have in the pockets. You can use them on other projects or to journal on, to put photos on. And then I just made like a little cluster down here with one of the cut aparts and the stickers. Same thing over here. I did a little cluster with some of the stickers and this 25 December cut apart. And then here's some more of the beautiful journal cards. I love all these so much. So that's for those two side pockets. And then the top loading pocket has a big four by six journaling card in there. You could fit more stuff in there. Then we turn it. So this is the center of the album. I just put this wreath sticker here. I thought it looked so pretty. And then this has tons of stuff in the pockets as well. I made a little fold out with one of the four by six cut aparts and then included some pretty journal cards. Same thing over here. I just stuffed it full of really fun journal cards. I love that one. So here's another little fold out that I made just with the cut apart on there. And there you go. So then this is the last spread here. So again, just filled it with fun journal cards. So you can really just take one of these collection packs and make a bunch of these and you don't really need any outside stuff except for maybe some seam binding. So another little cluster down here and here. And since I did the sleigh rides right there, I used this sticker and just made my own little journal card. And then these two. And then of course this has the top loading pocket with another fun four by six journaling card. So you can use any paper collection, anything you have in your stash, make it your own. Here's the back cover, and then we just tie it back up with the seam binding. So I think this turned out so pretty. I really love it, and I want to make a bunch more now. So this would make a great gift or stocking stuffer, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to share my next Christmas in July video with you. So I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel a lot, and it tells me that you like simple, fun ideas like this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next Christmas in July video. Bye!